another fabulous inspiration Wednesday and I have I honestly have felt like my life is moving too fast um, taking a break to do inspiration Wednesday is kind of reveling for me today um, yeah I, I'm just oh, the next couple months I'm like traveling crazy so let's get this in because I feel like maybe I might need to take a break I know crazy I know I said it out loud you're not gonna want me to say that but you know we're just working with it so here I am just swing. And I'm not going to tape the center today because I'm at the center page. So I'm just going to gesso these pages. And I uh, hope like hell that some idea <laughs> finds its way into my brain this morning. Because I'm, I'm, I'm running on nothing. So I'm going to gesso everything. Even this ribbon in the center. And uh, find out where this takes us. This dreary Wednesday in Huntersville, North Carolina. And, uh, I'll be so, my pages are dry. Maybe I'll just go with a color palette today, which might be nice. Of course, it's got a turquoise. I'm feeling orangey. Orangey, let's see. Transparent pyro orange. Maybe a little bit of that. Really that, like here, and then some green, and then some blue. How about we just do that and see what happens? Just talk amongst myself. So, let's just see what we get here. Maybe I don't want to use my brush. Maybe I want to use my fingers. Maybe I will put some art guard on my fingers before I paint because I never remember. This way, this art guard basically um, keeps the paint from soaking into your skin and I wash my hands so many times during the day it keeps them moist and you know all that stuff. So maybe I'll get a palette pad. I had one here somewhere like a week ago. Oh, I found it. And uh, oh, I am working in this pigsty. Let's put that there. Where's my pyro red? I mm, orange. Maybe that. Or maybe some green gold, because that's, that's good. And then, of course, I've got to have some teal, because you're wrong otherwise. And maybe some gesso. So I've got basically that going on. And then I'm just gonna maybe mix some white and oh yeah that makes me feel better. I'm just gonna fill this whole thing with these colors and then decide from there what we're doing. But yeah that that's a happier place for me. I've got my, this is one of my Strathmore books, and it's got gray pages in it, and I just take my stuff that, like, this is a lot of paint. I don't want to waste it. I just put it on a canvas, but I like to put it in, like, what I'm calling a junk journal. I can call it probably a smush journal if I really wanted to, but um, I'm just going to put this here and do this, and then that becomes the basis for something else later. Who knows? But then I don't waste it. Oh, happy days. That's nice. See if I can get something coming over here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Maybe just a little this and a little this and yeah. That's all I want. Just some place to put my smushes. All right, and I'm gonna put this aside and let this dry. But then this dries, and then it becomes a full journal of stuff later. So I've been really loving my charcoal pencil lately, and I'm thinking about kind of dividing. Uh oh, charcoal list. One moment, please. Where is my donde está mi charcoal? Okay, I'll be back. I have lost my charcoal. Oh no, I hear it in there. Ha <laughs> ha There it is. I knew he was in there. Let's try using this little guy. Okay, put that back. So I want to kind of divide this, maybe like where the green, the orange is. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of sketchily, nothing fine line. 
I'm thinking maybe putting some black and white stripes somewhere on this might be fun. All right, so now I'm just gonna take, I have my little um, rinse well here by Masterson, and uh, I'm just gonna see if I can't bleed these a little bit. They might not bleed too much because they're on the acrylic paint, but just wanna soften the line if I can. If not, I don't really care, because I'm planning on putting black and white in there. So I'm thinking about using my Montana pens here just to kind of do black and white stripey things. Floppy. So I dried that a little and I'm going to take my black one now and I'm going to go in between them. a little India ink and dripping, but I'll probably do this in steps because I don't want it to just drip all over randomly. I want to kind of force it. I know that's weird, right? I don't know. We'll see what we get. I'm just going to kind of outline this really lightly, but see if I can't get it to drip. I don't know if it's enough on there. Oh, it's enough. Oh, look at that. I love that. Can you see it? Let me zoom in. That's happy. Just little spits. Now I'm just going to go into all the white sections and just whiten them a little bit more with the thinner. Kind of refine them a little bit. I think I'm going to get a little palette knife action on this and I'm just going into white and I think I'm just going to go like this just to kind of grunge it up a little bit. Maybe a little bit of that transparent pyro orange in the blue just for grunge. So I'm thinking it needs something. So I got, I'm going to find it. I got this huge stencil from an amazing person in Canada. And I can't find the email that you sent me. But please, please comment and tell me who you are on today's blog because this is like a super large. She said she saw this stencil and she had to send it to me. And it's the awesomest thing in the whole world. It's just fantastic. So, um, yeah. So I'm thinking it might need like a little numbers or something or, or letters or I don't know. Something like that. But I'm going to have to mask it. Let's get a piece of paper. At least for this side. Maybe I need both sides. Just talk amongst yourselves. That's that. And then maybe under here. And maybe I'll just get that 56. I'm thinking of spraying it in yellow. So this is a little diary lied yellow and water to make the spray paint. We'll see what we get. Come on. There you go. All right. So um, maybe I'll dry it just a smidge. I have no idea what we're going to get. Let's see. Oh, me gusta mucho. I like that. I'm going to erase this part, though, like the seven that's on the black. So I really only want that 56 in there. Will it come off? It'll come off enough. All right, so um, I'm going to let that dry and be a random thought, but I thought like maybe a couple more numbers up here. I don't know. Let's just try it out. Let's see what we get. I'm not really finished, but um, you know, I have this quest to use my letter stickers before the end of the year, and I'm not even close. But I'm thinking maybe imperfection is a form of freedom on here. It's a quote I pinned the other day. And I've got all these stickers, so I certainly know 
that I could make that quote with these. Um, and I'm just going to put that here, I think. stickers stay. I'm going to put a little matte medium over them. Just a light I was layer. I thinking instead of a date stamp, let's go really rebellious and do um, stickers. I think it's the 8, 7. And just in case, I'm going to put a little layer of matte medium over those two. Well, that's it for this Inspiration Wednesday. Sometimes just the simplest things like color will make me ecstatic. And, uh, yeah, I kind of like the message, too, because it, it is kind of imperfect. All right, so that's it for this Inspiration Wednesday. I'll see you back here next week.